So we're at the uh, physical and perimeter security section of Intersect 2019. More than 140 exhibitors in this particular section of the show, including Dutch company NEDAP. And I'm with uh, Joachim van Ralphen, the managing director of NEDAP Middle East. Thank you very much, uh, Joachim. First of all, uh, what have you got uh, on show at Intersect 2019? Yeah, hi uh, Garrett, uh, thank you for the introduction. So what we have uh, here uh, at this Intersec 2019 is we have a concept with uh, augmented reality. We have a concept of uh, seeing is believing and uh, uh, augmented reality with an iPad um, to guide the people through the, the solutions that we offer and that helps them uh, to understand the products and to see it, how it would work in real life. So why is that important? I mean, you mentioned before, it's, it's a you know, at trade exhibitions, there's more than 1,200 exhibitors here this week in Intersec. Uh, uh, from your point of view, uh, how do you stand out from the crowd? How we stand out from the crowd is, well, tell me how many people you see with uh, augmented reality here. So that's uh, one uh, first uh, thing, how we stand out, the way that we uh, present our uh, products here uh, with the augmented reality. It gives really people the taste of how does it work in, uh, in real life. For us, the other uh, way how we stand out is, of course, with the uh, new things that we have introduced uh, this year here at Intersec. Um, what we have um, is uh, we have greatly upgraded our uh, Maze platform. You can see over there that's uh, uh, a platform where you can use your mobile phone as an access card. So you don't need an access card anymore. Typically, people forget to, uh, they, they, they tend to lose access cards. They may forget their access card. With Maze, you can just use your mobile phone. And um, we upgraded the platform in such a way that you can create your own apps with it. Uh, you can interface with any access control system and use that uh, mobile phone for it. Access control is, of course, one of your core solutions. Uh, perimeter, perimeter surveillance as well. Uh, in the Middle East region, government is quite important. But what about other industry verticals? Uh, who are you looking to see at Intersec? So if you look at the verticals where we are uh, dominant, uh, we have product group one proposition where we have the long range readers for vehicle identification. This is where we're really dominant. We're the market leader in the Middle East for the low end up to the high end. So we're here very close to, for instance, the Burj Khalifa, who is being uh, secured with uh, our long range reader technology, but also just uh, parkings of small residential buildings are being uh, secured uh, with that. For the access control system that we have, um, we mainly focus on the mid to high segment. So apart from the governmental that you mentioned there, um, what is very important is of course the oil industry, uh, uh, the other industries and related to government, there's, I mean government is so big in the Middle East, there's so many portions there that are important. That's where we focus and that's where we also take a leading position in the Middle East. People often say, particularly in the uh, security industry, that the Middle East and the UAE, Saudi Arabia in particular, they're quite early innovators when it comes to adopting security, innovative security solutions. Uh, uh, what, what, why do you think that is? I think because um, you know, I, I come from Europe. Yeah? And in Europe, I've seen that adoption of technology goes step by step because sometimes people don't, they, they don't want to take the risk of implementing something new. What I see here in the Middle East is that people work with a vision. So for instance, right now, a trend that we see is um, smart buildings, smart cities. That is really a vision that's being put out here. And uh, the countries, they make um, uh, everything available to put that vision into reality. I can give you an example. In 2018, uh, we have won uh, the Intersec Award uh, with uh, uh, the King Abdullah Economic uh, City, which is a smart city in Saudi Arabia. Uh, our partner, Secutronic, uh, won that award together with the King Abdullah Economic City using the technology of NIDAP. And what they've done there is they created a vision of a smart city where you don't, where they, amongst others, use MACE, uh, where you don't need an access card and where you can travel freely through the city without being bothered by technology, but where technology helps you. Yeah, it helps your, it helps the lives of the people that are in there, um, and and that is something that I haven't seen anywhere else than the Middle East, where they they take a vision like that, they invest in the vision, and they make it happen. And um, well, let's just talk about Intersec as well. I mean, um, this is not your first time exhibiting at the show. You've been at Intersec for quite a few years now. Um, it's early days yet. It's only the first day, but uh, I guess from your point of view, as as a, as an international exhibitor, why is it important for you to be here? Uh, I think uh, I can turn it around. If you want to mean anything 
in the security business in the Middle East, you have to be at Intersec. It's that, it's that simple. Uh, this is the center point of security in the Middle East. This is where any company that takes itself seriously will use this as a podium to, um, to introduce their new solutions uh, to the Middle East. So for us, Intersec has been incredibly important uh, over the years. We've been growing from year to year um, here at Intersec and also as a consequence our business has been growing in the Middle East and uh, now with Intersec also being introduced in Saudi Arabia a couple years ago uh, we are one of the launching partners there. We uh, immediately joined them in setting up uh, this exhibition in Saudi Arabia. And uh, for all our viewers uh, following us on social media and uh, on our e-newsletter e subscribing list, uh, potential visitors to Intersec 2019, uh, who would you like to meet over the next two days of the show? Well, uh, oil and gas are, uh, and, and, and government are the, the two very important ones here in the region. So those are the most important end users to meet. But for us, Intersec is also uh, a lot of networking with uh, partners that we like technology partners with system integrators that we partner with um, uh, like I said it's it's the place where you exchange knowledge on the new thing so uh, for us Intersec is talking from early morning until very late until the, 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 the last minute of the opening hours with a lot of interesting entities thank you very much uh, Joachim and uh, enjoy the rest of the show